Hello everybody, my name is Renato de Castro and this is Smart City Trends. Today I would like to talk to you about a very nice project I visit in my hometown, Rio de Janeiro, regarding smart mobility. The project was first implemented in Brazil during the 70s in Curitiba. Nowadays it can be found in 189 cities and it serves more than 32 million people a day. Rio, as any other metropolis, suffers a lot with the problems of mobility. It is the second most important city of Brazil and its metropolitan region has a population of 12 million people. 10.4 million people take the public transport every day and just the bus is responsible for 9 million people traveling. And of course, if the city hall fails and gives good public transportation, car fleet and motorcycle fleet will grow very fast. Just from 2001 to 2015, the car fleet has grown 186% and the motorcycle fleet 424%. Rio has 310 vehicles per 1,000 people. We have started our tour visiting the operational control center. It's the headquarters of the operation for all BRT corridors planned for the city. It's a sustainable facility with high environmental certification, with 1,300 square meters of built area. It has an amazing video wall with 100 screens and it's fully integrated with the city hall operational control center. From here, they can not only control all the buses, but talk real time with the drivers. It's a trunk feeder system that works isolated from the general traffic. It's very similar to the subway system. It has a prepaid fare collection, high frequency and operational control center. In Rio, the BRT system has a total extension of 157 kilometers and by 2017, it will be serving 2 million people a day, with a total estimated investment of 2.7 billion US dollars. It's really a big project. The whole system is managed by 16 companies with 1,100 direct employees and 1,000 outsourcers workers. However, it is still not 100% done. They already have 443 feeder buses and 340 articulated buses. One of the highlights of these systems are these stations. They are just not bus stops, but complete stations looking like the subway ones. As in all smart projects, sustainability could not be forgotten. The roof of these stations are painted in white to reflect the natural light, and its designs function as a wind pickup, which forces the movement of the wind direction within the station, what brings not just only more comfort to the passengers, but also safety. And believe me, safety is a big issue in Rio. Also, the introduction of modern buses with the standard Euro 5 engine and the rationalization of the fleet had reduced dramatically the gas emissions. 90% reduction of CO2, 86% reduction of particulate matter, and zero sulfur are amazing results. All the buses run with renewable fuel from sugarcane. Finally, what makes BRT a fantastic solution is the cost-benefit matrix. When compared with the other systems like light rail, train or metro, BRT seems to be really effective. It costs almost 8 times less than a train system and it can transport almost the same quantity of passengers per day. Okay guys, that is all. I hope you have enjoyed it. That was a little bit about Rio. Rio is full of uh, smart city projects. It's recognized now, it's ranked as the, the most important smart city project in Brazil and the fifth most important in Latin America. See you in the next video.